Hello YouTube, welcome to A Hobby and Development. I'm Tyler. I'm Josh. And in this episode we're going to be doing uh, something a little bit different. Uh, this one's not going to be so much of a painting tutorial video as it is going to be um, just us messing with some contrast paints. So we went to G-Dub's store today and picked up some contrast paints and uh, we've never used them before. So uh, what we're going to do, uh, me being a much um, more in-depth painter painting a lot, I'm going to do some contrast work and Josh is going to do some contrast work. And yeah, we, we assembled these models. I'll, I'll just take a photograph of them and, and throw them in there, the before and after pics and whatnot. But uh, uh, so we're going to be using uh, Cobblelite Warriors from the Drukari set the, uh, and we're going to be painting them in the... I don't remember. It's more of a red, red theme. Like, do you have a, I've got a witch here. So, sort of, sort of in this, this theme, uh, again, it's, if you go to the Facebook page, I've got more in-depth pictures of, of the witches that I painted up for Josh's kill team. So, all of the kill team models are going to be done in, uh, like a reddish, a reddish tone. We're going to try... We're going to try doing it in contrast, one, because we haven't really worked with contrast before, and two, Josh got up here, Cult of the Flayed Skull, the warriors we're going to be doing. Uh, we've got most of the paints, uh, they being in such high demand, the paints, we weren't able to get the black. And uh, the white. And the white. So we do have uh, the gray, the dark gray that's almost black, but we're also, we might use for the areas that need to be black, just a normal, one of the normal blacks, a bad and black, and we picked up the, what color do we pick up? Uh, Corvus black. Corvus black, we might experiment with that. And then they didn't have any of the skeleton um, contrast, which is uh, how they recommend doing the the face masks in the white area. So we're gonna do that via the standard uh, Ushabity bone and, and, and whatnot, that process. But everything else is gonna be contrast. Um, so, how did you want to do it? Did you want to just see how long it took or... S okay, so we're just going to see how long it takes us to finish it and then we'll compare results. Uh, we're not going to include drying time in this and we're not going to do like a video of us painting it because uh, we're just going to talk about contrast, talk about what we think of it, why or why not Josh is going to use it after this is going to be his, our, our first in endeavor into it. So we'll see, we'll get your comments on it after we've painted it. And then uh, obviously we've got the light booth behind the camera right now. We're going to take some real good pictures after we're done. And we're just going to talk contrast. Uh, personally, just from what I've heard and, uh, and seen online, being a, a jack-of-all-trades type of painter, it's going to definitely be something I'm going to use all the time. Um, I, I love the airbrush. I do airbrush work. I do normal brush work of all sorts. And this is just going to be another tool in the toolbox. Um, Mainly, what was it, the Sylvaneth models is something that I'm going to be collecting a lot of and uh, I think contrast is going to be a real good way for me to uh, knock out those dry ads and just some of the more repetitive repetitive models. Uh, stick around to the end of the video. Uh, I've got a project or two that I'm working on that I'm just going to put a sneak peek in here and uh, you can look forward to that video coming in the future. Uh, do you have anything you want to say before we begin? or? Uh, just for reference, I've only painted a total of maybe five, yeah. six models. Um, I'm pretty, pretty much a beginner. Uh, yeah. I, I, I haven't really gotten into it as much because I'm so meticulous that I have to make every little detail right and it just drains my energy. And I'm hoping that with the contrast paints it'll speed things up, it'll give me a drive to finish my gray army and put some colored models on the table. Yeah, and by no means is uh, is the contrast the, the only step. I mean, you knock out all your models with contrast paints and then go back in and do edge highlighting the normal way. Um, but yeah, this will, this will if you like it, and again, we'll talk after the process, it'd be a great way to get everything just on the table. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about that after we're done. Uh, painting and uh, as you know, I'm by no means a beginner painter and I although I would say you're definitely a beginner painter you are definitely not um, I'm not a 12 year old trying to do finger painting I'm a little more advanced than that. Yeah, I mean you're not 
you're not a bad painter. You actually do really good work. It just takes you quite a long time because you are so meticulous, which is not a bad quality to have, especially if you're working on something that you're going to be entering in a competition. You want that level of precision. But when you're doing your mainline troops and you just want to get them done, mm -hmm. um, and I'm the same way you are, which is why you'll notice I have, like, on the shelf, like, a dozen, like, Mostly finished? Well, yeah, they're, these ones are all finished. They're just not like line inventory. They're, right, right, right. They're more of elites and characters and, and unique models. I have a, probably a hundred Tau Fire Warriors, and I've got maybe ten of them painted. Nah. Uh, Twenty of them, if you include the stuff that Matt Matt painted. Well, some of your, your, your kill team stuff is a little bit better done than... Um, some yeah, I, do, I haven't even finished stuff. all my kill team stuff. So... Uh, what I'm, I'm working on is the comic book style is what I'm going to be doing all my Kill Team stuff in. It's, uh, I definitely can't do that with all hundred of my Fire Warriors. I'm going to be doing, hopefully using contrast with those, but I think I could do 10 to 20 models of, for Kill Team and then... Yeah. The rest contrast, just get them boom done. Yeah. So stick around. Yeah, enjoy. And uh, leave a comment if you like what you're seeing, any suggestions. Hit the bell icon to get notified when we update and absolutely share and subscribe our videos. Grow the followers, reach more people, and uh, they can learn and be entertained by our adventures. Uh, also, real quick, before we do begin, I want to mention that uh, because I'm now in this new place, you can expect more videos, uh, especially of Kill Team and Adeptus Titanicus when Josh is over. So. Yeah. Once once we uh, once I get my gray army a little more painted, we're going to be playing a lot more yep. kill team matches, and you'll you'll see more than just painting on the channel. Yep. Cool. Alrighty. All right, so uh, we put the uh, images of our final products in the uh, before this outro. Uh, so that's uh, uh, our, our finished products there. Josh's was the second one that I showed. Mine was the first one. Um, my total time to complete was, uh, was it 50, 53 minutes? Something like that. And that was after messing up on some of the paint scheme. Originally it was 45 minutes. Uh, we didn't include drying time. Uh, and it took you... Uh, mine was about, just about two hours flat. Um, I, being I haven't painted in probably a year, I messed up on a few things. I did some of the smaller details first instead of working at the inside and then working my, working my way out. Um, so I had a lot of, uh, I had to paint back over it with, what was it, Gray Seer? Mm -hmm. the, the base coat Gray Seer, and I had to do a lot of retouch-ups and uh yeah and that'll come with practice i mean with any with any painter but i mean that just goes to show you got the pro doing it in about 50 minutes and then the basically a noob doing it in just double the time so i mean in one sitting you can still get a model done oh yeah and that's probably the first time you've painted in well over a year so uh, what do you think of the contrast paints though um, I think there there are definitely some that have, um, that go on thicker. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I, li I like that for, for the armor, the red, the red uh, armor, that went on pretty thick, and that was a pretty 
heavy red coat, and I like that. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the kind of blue the jumpsuit underneath the armor. That went on very light. It was it pooled very decently in the, the crevices and uh, along the seams, uh, but along the flat areas, it uh, it was a very light translucent color. Um, depends on what you're going for. It looks decent. Um, yeah, and that's that's the intended purpose. Me personally, I'm uh, they were out of the thinning medium, but I probably would have thinned the red just a little bit to get the edges to to be highlighted a little bit more. Okay. I, I liked the the way that it was thinner. The, uh, the turquoise color. Yeah, um, pterodon turquoise. Yeah, I liked how that was thinner because it, it gave the edges more of a highlight. Um, that being said, I, I think they're awesome. They, uh, they took no time at all. The, the metallics could use some improvement. Uh, the gold is kind of like a, just a, a matte gold. And... Yeah, it's, it's more like a, like a golden color, but there's there's obviously no that I could see no um, actual metallic flakes in there. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the gold looked pretty decent. I've I've seen the the silver uh, equivalent on some other videos, and I wasn't very impressed. So that's why I used uh, actual lead belcher on the chain on mine because I didn't. Well, first of all, we didn't have the uh, the silver contrast, but also I don't intend to get it. I don't care for how it looks. The gold, on the other hand, looked pretty decent for for what it ended up, you know, doing. Yeah, uh, just for a table-ready model, it, it'll do the trick. It'll definitely do. Yeah, I, I definitely want to get the skeleton um, contrast color. I think that would make the, doing the bone areas much quicker. I think that's where you ended up spending yeah. most of your your time touching up I, I had you didn't to, have contrast to hit that I had to relearn how to do base shade and then highlight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just do two thin coats when I all whatnot it took so, me a little while to relearn stuff so the biggest question that I have and that everybody in our gaming group is gonna have is is this gonna get you to paint your army or at least your kill team stuff with a, with a little poke and prodding from him and maybe some group effort painting so I don't feel so like by myself and I just don't get bored so easily. Yeah, well I'm, I'm, I'm always painting every day so um, yeah I mean it, it went by pretty quick and then again like I mentioned earlier when you're doing it for real uh, you're you know do all red on one model and then you switch to another model and you do red on that too. And you so. do it uh, a chain of them not yeah. just one. Yeah and then by the time you get back it's all dry and so, uh, so that's basically the brief video that we had planned for today. Uh, we're going to be working on a, a game, and then uh, I have a another video coming up with a uh, comic book theme painting, which brings me to the spoiler, the surprise, the surprise. Yeah. So it, I'm not doing a tutorial on this one because this one is taking me quite a long time because it's a bigger model. But so. I'm, currently working on on uh so i'm currently working on this for my comic book uh army models and uh i'm doing a tutorial for another model that was requested uh in the same theme but along with that i thought i would do up a uh a hammerhead and see how it looks and it's it's almost done i basically just got uh the the inking left to do um, so once that's done, that'll be that'll be a very a very lovely model in my collection. Uh, so one thing that we did want to mention, if you want to support our channel, uh, feel free to contact us over on the Facebook page. If you're interested in purchasing uh, any of the uh, Cobblelight Warrior models that you saw today, uh, we're going to be doing ten of them in that style. So uh, there'll be ten of them that you can uh, purchase and support us. It'll go towards buying more models for us to paint for the channel and uh, to create better and more exciting things for you. Especially with the new price hike that's coming tomorrow. Yeah. The models are going to get more expensive, which yep. means yep. Uh, more and, money. And we're, we're going to be doing uh, some Age of Sigmar stuff. Don't expect that quite so soon. Uh, I've got some backlog to do, and I just moved, uh, so I don't have quite as much money as I'd like to have right now. Uh, but once everything settles down, 
we plan on getting uh, Age of Sigmar up and going, not only here, but with our gaming group, so. Uh, do you have anything to add? Comments on anything? Uh, I'm sure you've heard it before. I'm sure he's said it before. Um, back to contrast paints. From a beginner, they they do help you complete some beginner level um, projects. Kind of make you feel good about yourself. I haven't actually been able to complete a model in a long time. So, uh, as a beginner, it, it is nice just to get some... Uh, uh, entry-level models on the table uh, show some color but as uh, I believe you're gonna show a picture of a uh, another model I did mm -hmm. and that it, it, it has no it has no comparison to, to fully hand-painted uh, regular paints um, those are always going to be your pristine ones contrast paints are definitely just for beginners they'll do the trick but um, you, you, you if you want to advance your skills you're, you're definitely gonna want to um, learn how to use regular paints, your bases, shades, and layers. Now that being that being said, I plan on using contrast to do a lot of my Age of Sigmar army, my uh, like your all my troops. triads and stuff. I don't, I'm not painting them by hand, and I'm not breaking out the airbrush just for for those when I could just you know not slop this stuff on, but you know just brush it on and go. Uh, more or less, you kind of were just slop yeah. it on. And you're that's that's the result you get. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I mean. Uh, it's definitely for, it's designed for people who don't like to paint or don't, are not good at painting. And I think it does a really good job at what it, what it's designed to do. Um, I'm, I'm sure if you're watching this and you're interested in the contrast paints, you've seen a ton of videos already, yep. but it's not really something that you're going to want to throw on a, like a tank or something with big, huge flat panels, but it works, especially this color scheme. It worked really well, really well for what we were doing. Uh, could you hand me that? The, that crisis suit there. Yeah. I'm also I'm experimenting with uh, doing it on my Tau. Uh, the the Games Workshop store is out of the black, so that's why there's still a bunch of white showing. But you can even see on this model if my camera will focus. There we go. Even on this model with all the the panels, it's kind of pooling in some areas. But I actually don't don't mind that. It kind of just makes it look you know, dirty, oxidized, however you want to say it, but uh, I'm experimenting with doing my main Tau army up with contrast paints, just because it does make it a much easier, a much easier process than having to go through and, and apply shade to all of the areas after you've painted it with the yellow. So, so something I have noticed is that the, the Eldar, or, and uh, Dark Eldar, they're very spiky, very they got a lot of points, crevices, and whatnot, and something like the, the Tau, a lot of the areas of the, the guns are flat, the, the armor's flat, and it, it doesn't... Uh, it, I think, my personal opinion, I, you can have a different one, um, my personal opinion is it, it, contrast paints work better on less flat models, personally. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it definitely does. I mean, of course, you can shoot it through an airbrush and it becomes a wonderful tint. I'm going to probably experiment with that. Uh, when the right model comes up, so yeah. Uh, again, if you are interested in uh, buying some of those models that we have finished with the contrast, hit us up over on the Facebook page, and uh, you know support the channel. If regardless, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and as always, have a wonderful day.